Why is this so difficult? I just want a picture. Hey, welcome to another bookish video. Today I have my birthday book haul. I've been accumulating these books over the past two months probably and saving them for my birthday to unbox them and do a haul. As you can tell, I am 25 now. Uh, unfortunately, I can finally have my quarter life crises so that's fun i've seen a lot of these videos where people buy like 20 books for their 20th birthday 21 books for their 21st birthday so on and so forth and i thought it would be a good idea to do it for my birthday that meant i had to buy 25 books which luckily i had gifts from people that helped out a lot but then i also went to amazon book outlet tried to find the cheapest prices target had sales on books it wasn't actually too bad to get 25 books literally every time i've gotten a package i've stacked it up in my closet waiting to film this video and i honestly kind of forgot what books i got it'll be like another surprise to me but i'm actually going to show you the open books already that i just got from stores the first three i'm just going to go through fairly quickly because I already read these. I have a reading vlog of these so you've already seen them probably. First one is Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I have Iron Flame by Rebecca Yeros and then Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. These were the three new releases I wanted on November 7th so I picked these up and am counting them towards a birthday book haul because why not? But yeah I already read these and I already have a video on them. I'm not gonna go too far in depth of what these are. I'm sure you've seen them you know what they're about. Next I think it was Sometime in October, Target was having a buy one get one half off, which they've been having a lot of sales on their books lately, but I did just pick up four books when they were doing the buy one get one half off. The first two I have is Good Girl, Bad Blood and As Good as Dead, both by Holly Jackson. This is the second and third book in the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. And then I did pick up Wildfire 2 by Hannah Grace. This is the second book in the Maple Hills series. This is Russ and Aurora's story. It's summer camp vibes. The cover is giving very fall but I guess it's like summer sunset. It's still cute. I love this cover, surprisingly. I don't really like cartoon covers, but this one's really pretty. This is about Russ. He's described as like a golden retriever type guy. He is pretty quiet. And then Aurora, who is more of a party type girl, but they did go to college together. They had a one night stand and now they are both camp counselors at the summer camp. So they're meeting again and meeting back up with each other, I guess, talking out what happened finally. I'm not entirely too sure, but I'm excited to get into this. I did want to read this in the fall, so hopefully I'll read this soon and then the last book i picked up from target was fairy tale by stephen king i've been eyeing this book for a while i've never completed a stephen king novel but something about this is just very intriguing to me and i really have wanted to pick this up this is about charlie he's a high school student he has a lot of family issues parent issues his mom had passed away in a hit and run accident and then his dad is a heavy drinker now because of that and then one day he meets this dog and the dog's owner i guess and then he kind of like finds this house that the person lives in it's it's very mysterious in some ways. Charlie starts doing jobs for this man and then I guess this man ends up passing away and he leaves tapes like telling him this crazy story of like a secret that this man has kept and then Charlie just is dealing with that. So very interesting. This will be the first Stephen King novel that I have ever completed. Now I went to Barnes. At the beginning of this month I read Renegades by Marissa Meyer and I loved it so of course I had to pick up the second book which is Arch Enemies. This is a YA sci-fi series about superheroes who have specific powers and it's split up between the renegades and the anarchists and the anarchists are kind of seen as the villains mostly and then the renegades are trying to save the community in non-violent ways and they are trying to get rid of the anarchists and then the anarchists are trying to get rid of the renegades they have different teams within themselves i just i love this series so far i've heard it just gets better as the series goes on and then it is a trilogy so there's one more book after that that i don't have yet i also picked up Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark. This, I believe, is like a mafia romance. I've never read anything by Sophie Lark yet. I do have books on my TBR by her, but I haven't read them. I don't know which one I'm going to read first. But this seems like quite the short book. I think this is a series that consists of five or six books, and they're all 
following different characters that you meet as the series goes on but i think this is like a rivalry of two different kind of mafias in chicago this one it follows ada and callum and ada is the daughter of the gallo family and it says she crashes a party at the griffin family's mansion and sets fire to the library so her dad is kind of freaking out on her and he arranges a marriage to callum who is the heir to the irish mafia and ada is not happy about that so she has very bad plans for callum it says she is trying to poison him on their wedding night and murder him so sounds pretty intense this book is fairly short. I feel like a lot's gonna go down in not that many pages. Sounds very drama filled. Sounds good to me though. That's what I like. And then I have, I did buy this from Amazon. I don't know why it's out of the package, but I have The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second book in the Remnant Chronicles trilogy. I read Kiss of Deception, which is the first one recently, and I really liked it. So of course I had to get the rest of the series. So this book too just follows Leah and her journey as it continues. The first book is about this princess who was getting an arranged marriage with this prince that she didn't know anything about, but she did not want that. So she runs away with her friend and then an assassin is hired to kill her and then the prince also goes to try to find her chaos ensues and things go down but that's basically the premise of this trilogy so those are my open books now we are going to get into the unboxings oh how perfect is this that the third book is right here this is the beauty of darkness pretty thick uh wow okay it's almost 700 pages i did not realize this book would be this big <laughs> love the color i'm digging it so yeah this is the third book in the run chronicles trilogy what more is there to say? Nothing. Okay. I forgot I bought this series. Okay, now I'm excited. I don't even know how these go. I think this is the first one. I love these covers so much. This is Elsie Silver's first series that she wrote, I believe. And I've been reading the Chestnut Spring series and I love it so much. So of course I wanted to get another series by her and she has this one. Guys, the dedication is for my parents who spent hours upon hours driving me to and from the barn. That's literally me and my parents. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love book dedication so much. Anyway, I have these. There's four books in the series. There's also a novella, which really confused me because a novella is not these covers. It's It has people on the cover, so I did not want to buy the book. <laughs> I don't know if it's after the first one or if it's before the whole series. I didn't pick that one up. I do have four books somewhere in these packages, but I only have two right here. This is Off to the Races and The Front Runner. I don't know how these line up in the series, but these are just small town romances about people who ride horses, I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like the Chestnut Spring series, but just a different series with different characters. We'll wait for the other two to come out of one of these boxes. And then, I've said this before, I read the Moral Instruments series and I have been wanting to finish all the other books in the Shadowhunters universe. So I finally picked up the other two trilogies that I needed. I do own... I know what it's called. It's in there somewhere. The Infernal Devices. I do own that trilogy, but I had to pick up the other ones. This is The Last Hours, and I believe this is the last trilogy to read in the universe. Chain of Gold, Chain of Iron, and Chain of Thorns. I'm gonna take the plastic off. I've been wanting to do these books for a while, but I knew I wanted the hardcover, so I was kind of waiting for a good deal on the hardcovers. I think I paid like 40 bucks for these three books, which for big hardcovers, that is a pretty good deal. If you're looking for these, they're probably still cheap on Amazon, but we have that series finally. Packaging queens. Oh my god. Look at this. This is how you package a book. This was from... I have no idea. Ew, there's a sticker. This sticker does not come off good, I swear. Okay, we're just gonna leave it. I'm gonna deal with it after. Dang, this is a pretty cover too. What the heck? Okay, this is Lady Midnight. This is part of the Dark Artifices. This is the next trilogy. It comes before the last hours after the Infernal Devices. But I know there's different ways you can read them, but I will be reading them in that way. Oh my God. Why is it signed? What the heck? <laughs> okay, happy birthday to me. Oh my God. What is this? Where did I get this from? <laughs> It just says bookstore. I literally do not remember. But okay, go me for getting this, I guess. Wait, I have to <laughs> I have to see the rest of the inside of the cover. Look at it. Okay. Anyway, that's cool. It's signed and it's has a cool cover on the inside. So this is Lady Midnight. This is book one of the next trilogy. I'll find the other two books in a second. I think they're in here. We'll see. So 
So we have the other two books. This is the Gold Rush Ranch series. I don't think I said that, but I have a false start and a photo finish. Again, I don't know what the order is. Sorry. Let's just hope that this is the right order. I'm going to take a guess and say it's off to the races, the front runner, a photo finish, and a false start. If I'm wrong, it's not the first time. Just look how pretty. I love them. We have book two. I don't think I've ever seen this cover. Interesting. Okay, book two. This is Lord of Shadows. Ooh, it has all like the runes and the translations. That's sweet. If you haven't read The Mortal Instruments, I highly recommend it. I think it's a good series to read no matter what age you are. So get on it if you haven't done it yet. Hopeless. This is by Elsie Silver. Also, this is the last book in the Chestnut Spring series and it is about Bo and Bailey. I don't know who Bailey is yet. I don't know if she's mentioned in the last two books that I need to read, but of course I know Bo. He's mentioned in the first one and the other books that I have read. I've heard a lot of people say that they didn't like this as much as they thought they would. I'm not expecting to like this as much as I have liked the other books, but I'm still very excited to get to it. But that'll complete the Chestnut Spring series for me. Okay, this. Shout out to the person that commented on one of my videos when I said I wanted the OG cover of All Roads Lead Here and told me I could get it at Blackwell's. You're a gem and I literally love you. This is All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. If you don't know, they're changing the covers to cartoon covers and I'm not a fan of them at all. The Wall of Winnipeg and Me and this one have different covers and I, I literally just them I don't like them. I'm iffy about her books. I've liked one and then I've kind of liked one and then I didn't like another one that I read by her. I've always wanted to get this one and try this one out because this has been recommended to me by people who have the same taste in books as me mostly. I'm hoping that I love this one and that it'll be a read that I can enjoy. The back of the book doesn't really say much. It just says losing people you love is hard. Aura knows moving back to a place that was once home isn't going to be easy. Starting your whole life over probably isn't supposed to be but a small town in the mountains might be the perfect remedy for a broken heart. Checking out her landlord across the driveway just might cure it too. I know that this is kind of more like a nature focused book and I really enjoyed that like a small town romance set out in nature kind of in the woods. Hopefully they go hiking. I don't know but I like nature and I like to hike and stuff so that's why I wanted to pick up this book and I've wanted to read it for a while now. So I'm glad that I found the OG cover because if I didn't and I wasn't about to pay like 70 bucks for someone selling it, I probably would not pick up the new one. And also when I was looking at Blackwell's, it's from the UK so they have a whole bunch of original covers. But I was looking and there were a lot on there that if covers are changing and you don't like them, go to Blackwell's, look through all those books and see if they have the one that you want because they had quite a bit. Last package. This is from Book Outlet. If you don't know what Book Outlet is, they have very cheap books. I don't really know how they get them all but I think they get leftovers maybe and then they usually mark them with a dot so they can mark the price down because they're like essentially damaged in a way since they have a, a sharpie dot on them. I bought from them multiple times and I've had good experiences every time. It's very hit or miss with the books that they have. A lot of times I go on there and they don't have anything I want and then sometimes I hit the jackpot. I definitely went on there for this haul because their books are 80% off on average. So I did pick up three books. They were doing a Black Friday haul which I did not know even existed until after I bought books and then everybody was posting about like book outlet having a Black Friday sale and I'm like oh yeah I got all my books for like five six dollars. I got three books for like fifteen dollars. And here's book three of the Dark Artists. This is Queen of Air and Darkness and that will complete all of my Shadowhunter stuff. Oh this has a oh, there's a cat. That is perfect. There are more books, but I don't know if I'm going to pick them up. They're kind of like little spin-off books. They're not actually in trilogies or series or anything. And then my last two, Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Bachman. I've heard a lot about this, and I know that he has other books that people talk highly about too. I don't really know what this is about. I'm just going to read the back of the book for you guys in case you don't know what this is about. It says, looking at real estate isn't usually a life or death situation, but an apartment open house becomes just that when a failed bank robber bursts in and takes a group of eight strangers hostage. Each of them carries a lifetime of grievance hurts, secrets, and passions that are ready to boil over. None of them is entirely who they appear to be. In short, they are the worst group of hostages in the world. <laughs> but as the minutes tick by, they begin to suspect that the criminal mastermind holding them hostage might be more in need of rescuing than they are. It says, as the authorities and the media surround the premises, these reluctant allies will reveal surprising truths about themselves and set in motion a chain of events so unexpected that even they can hardly explain what happens next. I'm surprised I haven't picked this book up yet, but I've honestly never read what this book was about. So when I saw this on Book Outlet, I decided to finally pick it up and I think it's going to be good. Hopefully I like this because I may want to pick up more of his books. If you've read this, let me know what you thought about it. And then lastly, I have, this book is kind of a hot mess. Uh, this is Coming Up for Air by Nicole B. Tyndall. It's a very pretty cover. It's a little hardcover book. That's perfect for me. It's black and blue. If you know me, you know I love those colors. I don't know. I want to say this is a YA, but I will read to you this little excerpt too because I can't tell you what it's about if 
I don't do that. Because ever since her mom's cancer scare, Hadley Butler hasn't been one for taking risks. She keeps her emotions guarded and plays things safe, focusing on her photography and getting into the art school of her dreams. Until Brayden Roberts. Star of the swim team in all bravado and charm and impulsivity, Brayden is exactly the kind of person Hadley avoids. But Brayden really sees her and it's intoxicating. Hadley's happier than she'll ever admit until her family is faced with devastating news and Brayden starts down a self-destructive path that could shatter everything. No one knows what to do, especially Hadley, because when you love someone, how do you find the strength to walk away? Why a romance, I believe? Probably a very sad, heart-wrenching story is what I'm getting from this. But yeah, I'm excited. Let me count and make sure I have 25 books, because if not, that kind of be a little embarrassing. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Perfect. I have my 25 books. I don't even want to look at my TBR card that's right next to me with a whole bunch more books on there. Anyway, happy birthday to me. <laughs> I don't know if I said my birthday was on the 13th. It doesn't really matter because not a big deal. I don't really treat my birthday as a big deal, but I do like to buy myself something every year just because why not, you know, treat yourself. I usually buy books for myself. So yeah, I'm thankful for the few people that I had helped me buy some of these and gift me books for my birthday. Now I have to do a lot of reading, guys help. <laughs> I mean, at least I already read three of these. So we're doing, we're doing good. Only 22 more to go. Uh, but yeah, that is my book haul for my birthday. If you enjoyed, stick around, subscribe, hang out with me even more. Be here when I talk about books. You can talk about books with me in the comments. Anything you want to comment on my videos, go for it. We can just have a conversation about whatever the heck you want to talk about. It'll be fun. With that being said, that's it. I will see you in my next video, whatever that may be. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around with me. Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I will see you later alligators <laughs>